We know that mass is a measure of the amount of matter in a substance. So basically a measure of the number of particles that make up a substance. We know that mass can be measured in grams or bigger substances would be measured in kilograms or tons, etc. We also know that when measuring the size of a substance, we want to know what amount of space it occupies. And we call that value the volume of that substance. We say that a substance's volume can be calculated by when we start out by multiplying the length of that object by the breadth or the width of that object by the height of that object. Essentially what that tells us is how much space a specific object occupies and that is called volume and as you can see if each of these is measured in centimeters volume would be measured in cubic centimeters. Now we have in the particle model of matter we have spoken at length about the way in which particles are arranged in a substance and as we said that in solids the particles are very closely packed and neatly arranged and in gases they are very far apart and that affects something called the density of that substance. Now density is essentially the relationship between a mass of an object and the volume of that object. It basically tells us how much one specific volume of that object would weigh. As we can see, density is mass which is measured in grams over volume which is measured in cubic centimeters. So we say that density is measured in grams per cubic centimeter. What that tells us is that one cubic centimeter, one block that is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter would have a specific mass if we know what its density is. So we're going to do an example of a calculation. Over here we've got a physics textbook and I have measured the height and the length and the width of this textbook over here and we found the following. We found that this textbook has a volume which is calculated by multiplying length times breadth times height which is measured with a ruler and found that it has a length of 27.5 centimeters a breadth of 23.5 centimeters and a height or thickness of 4 centimeters which means its total volume is 2585 square or cubic centimeters. What this tells us is that we could fit 2585 little blocks of this size one cubic centimeter inside this textbook. What I've now also done is I have calculated the mass or I've weighed this textbook and found that it had a mass of 3102 grams or 3.102 kilograms. So we can now calculate the density of this textbook by saying density is equal to the mass of this object divided by its volume. And we can calculate that. We know that the mass is 3102 grams and the volume is 2500 and 85 cubic centimeters, which means that the density of this book is 1.2 grams per cubic centimeter. What that tells us is that every cubic centimeter in this book has a mass of 1.2 grams and this makes sense because it is a, pot, a solid and everything is very closely packed. The particles are close together which makes it more dense than something like water which has a density that is very similar or very close to one gram per cubic centimeter.